going to be going over how to clip your hedgehog's nails. Um, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a bath technique. There are tons of different ways to clip your hedgehog's nails, but this is the way that works best for me and my boys. I'm showing you with Draco today, who actually does need a bath, as you can see, and needs his nails clipped. So it's gonna be a big day for him. I have a video on giving your hedgehog a bath um, on my channel already. I'll link that down below. Basically, you're gonna go through that same process. I'm just giving him a bath with water today, not with soap, um, because he just recently had one with soap. So basically, I'm going to let him sit in there. I'll scrub down his feet a little. Um, he's found something that apparently smells good. But basically, I want his feet clean before I clip his nails. He happens to get poop under his nails, as loads of hedgehogs do. So I want to be sure that that is all gone before I go and start clipping so that I can clearly see the quick um, so that I don't happen to nick the quick. The quick is a blood vessel in the nails. We have it basically as humans as do dogs. Pretty much all animals have it. Um, it is usually the little pink bit in their nails and I'll try and get a close-up of it in a little bit. What you want to do is clip the white part of the nail and not hit the quick. The quick, if hit, will bleed. It's not a big deal if you hit it. Um, your hedgehog may huff because it doesn't exactly feel good at first. They won't notice it after a second. What you will notice is that it will bleed and it will bleed quite a bit. It's nothing to freak out over. It's not something you're going to need to rush your hedgehog to the vet unless you got really, really, really low. Um, but basically all you need to do is apply some, um, you can get like quick stop, you can use cornstarch. You want something that's going to clot the bleeding. So you can dip their toe in that and then squeeze it for about 10 seconds and it should stop. Sometimes, if it's a bit um, deeper than usual, you're going to need to squeeze it for a bit longer, but it should stop on its own. Okay, so he's going to struggle a little bit. They don't exactly enjoy this, but that's all right. In the bath, what you want to do, and you don't want to do this with a hedgehog that's brave enough to duck their head underwater because they'll drown themselves. Obviously, you wouldn't let them do that, but um, getting too much water up their nose anyway isn't good. So any hedgehog that is willing to duck their head underwater, this method won't work for you. I will describe some methods at the end of the video that may work for you. So, to start, we're just going to grab a foot and he will eventually stop struggling. And I just give a quick clip all the way, all four. I don't usually have to do the dew claw. If you have to do the dew claw, that would be the time to do it. So that was nice and easy. Draco's a pro at this point. Not that he enjoys it, but he knows what's coming. So this here, while I have you zoomed up, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or if he will show you your foot. This here Let me see your toes. Okay, you can sort of see it there how long his nails are. But if you see that white bit there, that is what you clip off. The pink running up to it, and you'll be able to see it more clearly on your own hedgehog. But the pink running up to it, that's the part you avoid. Okay. Come here, baby. 
Yeah, I know. I know. I know it. It's so, so dramatic. It's so dramatic. Don't bite me. Yeah, one, two. You're just gonna let me do two? Alright, well, I'm gonna move on then. And still. Two, three. Nice and quick. If you can't get them as short as you want to, that's all right. You can always try again another day. Or like I just did, you move on and then come back. No, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, what a good boy. That last nail doesn't need done. Get this last foot. Oh, I know. It's a little bit too long. Oh, you losing your patience? It's all right. It's okay. I'm gonna get that little hangy nail there. Not so bad. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I know. Half a lap, I guess. One, two. This back one could be a little bit shorter. You're not gonna let me get to it, can I? Do you mind, sir? He's like, of course I mind. How about you don't? <laughs> Just a little bit shorter. If if something like that happens um, and you've got the nail, but then they move, try not to clip because what can happen, and it's happened to me before, is you get it all situated, you're right about to press down, and then as you're pressing down, they move, and you nick the quick. Like I said, it's it's okay if it happens occasionally, but you wanna, you wanna try not to let it happen, huh, buddy? <laughs> He's like, I'm done, I'm done for the day. I've had enough, I've had enough, woman. It's okay. You wait, you wait. Forehead rubbings? Yeah. No? You don't want them? See, I just want out. I don't want forehead rubbings. I want out. Some hedgehogs are even sweet enough that if you were to do that, just like I did just now, they'd leave their feet out. Or you can always pick them up and their feet are hanging like this. And, and if they have a habit of drawing them up, what you can do, and you can do this out of the cage, or out of the bath as well, is you can grab a paw between your fingers when you pick them up and hold it out. I don't know if you could see that, but I got his front paw between my two here, and then he can't draw it in, so I can clip those nails. And you can do that with the back ones. It's kind of hard to do with my left hand. This is usually a right-handed thing, but yes. Let me, where was that nail that was a bit too long, my dear? Oh, here it is. Could you just, it's okay. Just, yeah, there we go. All done. Okay, so another method is a towel. And of course, he's a little bit irritated because I just pulled him out of the bath. And this is a bit of an awkward way to film. But you want to put your hedgehog on a towel. And sort of wrap them up so that one paw is out. And of course, Draco isn't going to cooperate. And that's okay because they aren't always going to. This would be much easier if I had him to my chest and not around a camera, but as you can see, there's a pole. <laughs> and you can do the front ones the same way. You just wrap them up so that a paw is sticking out and they can't ball up and take their foot with them. Okay, another way to show you, and this is a little bit difficult to situate because again, he's really 
feisty right now and is really done with this whole nail clipping experience. But you can hold them to your chest, kind of squish them in there. It's all right. Don't squish them hard enough to hurt them, obviously. They're going to squirm and wiggle. But this way, if you've got their quills against your chest, you can hold them there and grab a foot and clip. This, all, this is also a good way if you have two people, you can hold them like this and grab a foot um, and someone else can clip. Another way while you're here is if you put them on your arm like this and hold their butts, their feet will hang out like this. And if you're wearing a hoodie, you can tuck their faces in and get them like that. What else is there? If you've got a really, really stubborn hedgehog, like my Blaze, um, the bath works best for Blaze. But if you've got one that is stubborn like Blaze, but also likes to dunk their face underneath, um, which means the bath wouldn't work very well, you can use a baking rack or a cooling rack. Um, and basically what you set them you set them on it and sort of like how his feet fall through my fingers their feet would then fall through oh I thought he was pooping sorry um, their feet would then fall through the little holes of the rack now that is again easier with two people um, it is doable with one but it's much easier with two people because you can have one person holding the rack and supporting the hedgehog so they don't fall and then the other person um, catching the feet when they fall through and clipping. The important thing about um, doing their nails, however, is not to give up because I find that a lot of people get really um, sort of intimidated with the quills and then what ends up happening is their nails get really overgrown. And what happens, they grow pretty fast. Um, it does depend on the hedgehog. Some hedgehogs nails don't grow as fast as others. Their nails grow at varying rates, but overall they're pretty quick growing. And what happens if you don't clip them often enough is that the um, nails will curl under and they have very soft pads. Um, their feet are, I don't know if you can see how delicate that is, if that's even in focus. Oh, I know, I know. But um, they have very delicate feet. That's why they can't use like wire wheels and things like that. They've got delicate feet and delicate toes. Um, so what happens when their nails curl under is that they will pierce the pads of their feet. Are you irritated? Yes. See, I'm so irritated. <laughs> but they will pierce the pads of their feet and um, of course that's not good so yeah you definitely want to make sure that their nails are clipped regularly it's okay if they get a little long you saw at the beginning of the video Draco's nails were, were quite a bit quite a bit grown out as you could see I also used cuticle clippers instead of like actual nail clippers. I find those easier to maneuver. Um, that's sort of personal preference. You can use like baby nail clippers. You can use small animal clippers. But I find with, as you've seen a couple times in this video, how small their feet are. Is there a foot hanging out there? No, just bum. <laughs> There's a little foot. Um, I find with how small their feet are, and how tiny the nails are, cuticle clippers or cuticle scissors, whatever you like to call them, um, tend to do the job the easiest and with the least amount of accidents. <laughs> it's over it. So over it. I want to thank you all for watching. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, leave them down below. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook, and all of that jazz. We're always over on one of them. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say bye. <laughs>